Miss Marvel is directed by Bill Alfara and Adil Al Arabi. It stars Iman Vellani, Matt Lintz, Russia and Nimra Butcher, and Aramis Knight. In the latest Marvel Disney Plus series, schoolgirl Kamala Khan finds a bangle that gives her magical cosmic powers. She starts to turn into a superhero and she has to try and balance her superhero life with her family life and struggle between them. Now, before this show, I didn't really know much about the character of Miss Marvel. I knew kind of what her powers were, but I didn't know much about her backstory. So my excitement levels weren't really up to the flipping stars this time, but I was willing to give it a chance like I do with every film and show. Now, while this show isn't amazing, it's not bad by any means. It's just fairly a suitable show. But that's not wasting any more time. Let's just go straight into the positives. So the thing that really carries this show really is its first, I say two and a half episodes. There's parts of episode three which really do work, but I especially do like the first two episodes. I like seeing Kamala struggling with her family life, even before she's turned into a superhero thanks to the bangle. But I really do think that her struggle with her family life was really emotionally driving. And it does work when it happens throughout the show. All the actors have great chemistry with each other. They feel like a real family. And the best part is all the acting is brilliant. But easy to stand out for us is easily Imen Vellani as Miss Marvel. She is excellent in this show. She brings so much energy, so much humour to the show. She's easily the best character in the show. So compelling, so funny, so likeable. She's excellent in this film. You could tell she's having a great time. And as I just said, her chemistry with the actors just works really well, making all the emotional scenes really hitting hard. And I think, thanks to her performance, this show really hit the heights that it could. Because without her good performance, I think this show really would have ridden the dumpster. There isn't much action in this show, really. There isn't much action in most of the Marvel shows. But this one has, like, three action scenes, probably a couple more. But they are actually really well done. I think they edited well, the shot well. There's an article one shot sequence in, a, I think it's the third episode, where she's running away inside the wedding. That was a really cool piece of cinematography. And the music blasting out, that's another thing I'll get into, the music. It's all licensed music, but it works. It fits the tone. And I really think it added this charming tone, lighter tone, which is what the show is really going for. I do like the editing as a whole I- in this film. They use like drawings to like set a scene up, which I thought was really cool. They do like the quick swipes, just as nice light tone to the show. But this show does have its fair negatives, and that's mostly with the plot shift. Into like episode three, the plot just goes all over the place. We start with this superhero struggling with her family, and then all of a sudden we're going into like this cosmic history about the history of the bangle and the family heritage and it just sails far away from what was set up in the first two episodes the problem is the family suffering part of the plot just doesn't get developed enough thanks to this plot in about episode five it just gets resolved and no one seems too scared for kamala that she's a superhero and they don't seem shocked really they just seem like oh you're a superhero oh i love you it just felt really unnatural. I was like, your daughter's a superhero. Surely you'd be a bit shocked. And a bit, oh my god, oh my god, what's happening? But no, they just go like, oh, she's a superhero. And it just felt really out of place, thanks to this other plot. Don't get me wrong, the villain of the plot does have a solid motivation. And I think what she does to try and reach her goal is very good. And I especially like how it leads into the final episode just doesn't mix well with this family suffering plotline, which I think they should have focused more on than this whole cosmic history sort of side. Another big problem I did find with the film was the dialogue, especially in episode two. Some of the dialogue was really ropey and really bad, and it was mostly when the teenagers were talking. It just felt like one of these middle-aged 40-year-old mums just wrote this and thought, oh, this is how teenagers talk, let's just make them talk like that. And it really did feel out of place and really cringy sometimes. Some of the special effects, mostly in the early episodes, they do get better as you progress through. But they look really bad in the first episode, especially when Miss Marvel first did shows her powers. It looked like a, f- a 3D video game, but 
as I said, they do get better over time the more you watch them, especially in episode six. I thought her her cosmic arm looked really cool in that episode. There is a very light-hearted humour in this show, and the humour just does not work most of the time. I think when Kamala Khan is doing the humour, it works because of Villani's chemistry and her upbeat acting in the film. But when it comes from any other characters, apart from its few jokes there and there, it just does not work. And it mostly happens in the final episode. And I just sat there thinking to myself, this is not that funny at all, really. But overall, I think Miss Marvel was a fun, charming, light-hearted Marvel show. I think it's solid. It has some great acting. The first three episodes are very, very good. I really enjoyed them. I thought the chemistry between the actors was great. The action was really well. I love the editing and the cinematography. And most of the humour does work. But just with a really massive plot shift, some really bad dialogue, and some really rocky special effects in the first half of the series, just really brought this show down to the ground a little bit for me. But by no means do I think this is a bad Marvel project. I think this is pretty good. I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. I think it's a solid Marvel show. And I'm really excited to see what they do with Miss Marvel coming in the Marvels, which is coming out next year. But guys, thank you for watching this review. I'm going to be reviewing The Grey Man next, and then the film Nope, which I'm so excited for. But I hope you all enjoyed this video, and have a good day. See you later.